Okay, so we're done with the discussion on uh, the standard Ethernet, uh, its properties, and we also are done with the bridge Ethernet and the switch Ethernet, as well as the full duplex uh, full duplex switch Ethernet. So we now move on to the other iterations of the Ethernet standard. So after the standard Ethernet, uh, the fast Ethernet uh, came about. It was designed to compete with FDDI, Fiber Distributed Data Interface, and uh, its number is 802.3U, which is also backwards compatible with the standard Ethernet. And uh, the main selling feature of this standard is that it can support up to 100 Mbps data rate. Uh, the goal of this uh, standard is to upgrade the data rate to 100 Mbps, make it compatible with the standard Ethernet, uh, keep the same 68-bit uh, address, so 6 bytes, and then multiply that by 8, get 48, uh, keep the same frame format, and keep the same minimum and uh, maximum frame lengths. Uh, other also uh, it aims to keep the max sub layer untouched uh, to only support star topology unlike in the standard ethernet we have the bus topology support being supported in 10 base 5 and 10 base 2 and uh, uh, CSM ACD for half duplex now uh, a novel feature of the fast ethernet is auto negotiation wherein it allows two devices to negotiate the mode or data rate of operation. Remember that fast Ethernet is backwards compatible. So using auto-negotiation, uh, it can uh, the two uh, communicating parties can negotiate whether to use 10 Mbps or 100 Mbps. Meaning, if you have a, a, a network, a fast Ethernet LAN, and then you have a node, that supports only standard Ethernet, which is 10 Mbps, the, uh, a node or a station which can support 100 Mbps can talk to the station with, which supports only 10 Mbps via auto-negotiation. Uh, it allows device to have multiple capabilities and allow a station to check uh, a hub's capabilities. So the fast Ethernet, uh, the topology may be point-to-point -point if only two stations or star. Point-to-point, -point, let's say you have a cross cable. Uh, I think in the lab you have uh, an exercise wherein you created a cross cable and you connect two computers. So that's point-to-point -point connection. And uh, essentially in the lab, in our laboratory, it's, uh, the network in our, our lab is uh, or it uses uh, fast Ethernet. So we have uh, several variations of the fast Ethernet. We have 100, again, this is the data rate, baseband, and then you have uh, uh, TX, twisted pair. So it, uh, 100 base TX, two wires, cut 5 UTP. Uh, 100 base FX, two wires, fiber. Uh, 100 base T4, uh, 4 wires cut 3 UTP. And uh, the Manchester encoding is not used here because it's not suitable uh, because uh, it needs uh, at least uh, 200 uh, uh, megabod. Okay. So here are the common implementations. So the fast Ethernet uh, for the impl physical implementation for the 100 base TX. So 100 base TX, two wires, cut 5 UTP. Okay, so uh, you have here uh, two wires, okay, cut 5, and then you have uh, this station here. So this is the encoding scheme. Okay. So you have a 4B, uh, 5B encoder, and then 
you have you can just check the links here for the review of the uh, the encoding techniques okay but this is essentially how it's done how 100 uh, uh, mbps data rate is achieved so using this uh, decoding for the 100 base fx so two fibers also so it's uh, both of them uses the same encoding techniques except here where it uses the NRZI uh, encoder okay and for the 100 base T4 uh, this is uh, what is uh, what is uh, uh, being used actually in the lab this is what is being used because we have uh, four wires being used for uh, uh, the connections four wires in the UDP so two wires for transmit and two wires for uh, receive. So this is how it's done. So it uses 8B60 encoder. Okay, so it uses four category three uh, UTP. So to summarize uh, the different physical implementations of fast ethernet, so uh, you can see here the different encoding techniques, uh, the line encoding technique used and their differences so most more or less the uh, cheaper uh, alternative is this one uh, cat4 or 10 base t4 this is the common commonly used network and this is, i think is what is used in our laboratory so gigabit ethernet uh, again we want to increase the uh, data rate Okay, so gigabit ethernet tries to increase the data rate to 1 gbps uh, again uh, it supports backwards compatibility the same uh, uh, 48 bit address the same frame format and uh, all the features of the previous uh, ethernet standards must be supported in the gigabit ethernet. So you have a full duplex mode here wherein there is no collision and the maximum length of the cable is determined by the signal attenuation in the cable. Uh, in the half duplex mode, uh, it uses uh, CSMACD. Uh, three methods for the minimum frame length, uh, traditional as with the standard ethernet, uh, carrier extension by increasing the length of the cable, and frame bursting, uh, multiple types of frames are set. So here is uh, another uh, illustration of how to uh, implement gigabit ethernet. So you can have point to point and you have the star, then you have two stars being connected and you can have this hierarchy of stars. So physical implementations of gigabit ethernet so again you have 1000 base SX, 2 wire short wave fiber, uh, 100 base, 1000 base LX, 2 wire long wave fiber, uh, 1000 base CX, 2 wire copper, uh, shielded twisted pair, and 1000 base T, uh, 4 wire UTP. Now in the data center of ICS, uh, we're using this, uh, 1000 base T. So for the encoding, uh, for the fiber, okay, so again you have two, uh, two wires for the fiber okay, and copper. So this is how the encoding, uh, this is the block encoding and the line encoding. So remember that uh, you have block encoding first and then you have uh, uh, line encoding. Okay, so this is how it's done. For the 1000 base T, I think it was mentioned when we talked about uh, 4D fine pump five okay, for the encoding. So this is how it's done for uh, send and receive. So it uses uh, four cables. So this is uh, uh, full duplex, full duplex. As you can see in the uh, bi-direction uh, uh, bi-direction arrow. So to summarize, uh, you have these properties and. Uh, Okay, so this is, as I said, this is what uh, the data center is using. Okay. So the latest iteration of uh, 
the Ethernet standard is the 10 gigabit Ethernet. So again, uh, it provides backward compatibility with the previous uh, Ethernet standards. And uh, these are the characteristics. So more or less, uh, since it is, it requires a very high, it can support very high data rate, 10 Gbps, then the most likely physical implementation would be uh, using a medium for uh, uh, fiber optic cable. So you have here uh, multi-mode, single mode, single mode, and notice the distance that can be uh, that can be uh, used or that can be covered by this uh, gigabit Ethernet. Okay, so that's uh, the end of this chapter. So to summarize. Uh, we've discussed uh, the different uh, properties of the IEEE wired LAN standard, starting with uh, the standard Ethernet, uh, the fast Ethernet, gigabit Ethernet, and the 10 gigabit Ethernet. Uh, an important thing to remember is most of these uh, uh, newer standards are backward compatible with uh, older uh, land standards.